Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brent with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're checking out level 10, the Kraken Free Play. For Lego Pirates of the Caribbean, we're going to grab all eight compasses and all ten of the mini kits. And real quick before we get going here, let's uh, take a quick peek. We're about ready to launch in here. We're going to show you a couple characters we think you might have uh, or might need along the way. Blackbeard being one of them. We recommend you beat the story mode. As you can see, we have all the characters here. But you're going to need Serena and, uh, well, or Philip, I guess. And it never hurts to have Blackbeard because he's usually got a couple of items in all of these. So uh, make sure you beat the story and at least have Blackbeard. You do not need to have the full awesome palette of characters like we do. But if you do, hooray for you too. All right, so right off the bat, we're going to pull out our compass and take us right to this door on the far right side. We'll come back to it, because once we pull it, there's a mini kit, as we can see, flashing by that triangle. And we'll run all the way across with our rummy run and pull out the compass. And guess what? It's Oh, we got, we got tentacle slapped. Take that. We'll go ahead and uh, pull it up again, and we still can't get there. Everyone's in the way. What is going on here? So we will come back to that here in just a wee wee second. I said wee wee again. I'm getting horrible at that. All right. Well, we're going to toggle through all the characters because we recommend you do it as well. You will have to go back and at least toggle through like that in order to get uh, the trophy achievement for the toggles. And there you can see we built the pieces with Blackbeard. You didn't need to do that with him, but it sure helps. And then we'll walk this over. There's three boxes that we need to place on the green panels before we can lift it up and advance into the next area. Every area. So there's one and there's two. Third one is actually on the front side here. It's going to be easily found hanging from a silver chain that we can destroy by throwing a bomb or blowing up with Marty. As you can see, we got a couple mini kit pointers over there telling us, misdirecting us. But in the back left side, we're going to use Black Beard to get the uh, item out of the way there. You can see it was blocking our path to the stairway, so we'll use that, destroy it with Black Beard. Then go downstairs, and there are a couple of uh, boxes in the corner. We'll destroy those for some studs. There is also a compass item or two down here. But we'll use our compass right now to find this mini kit. Psych! Actually, we're going to use it to find this box over here, which then leads to a mini kit. So a big box, little box. Bust them both open. Cha-cha, cha-cha, cha-cha. Okay, one down, one to go. All right, there we go. Now you need to take the little box and put it in the big box. Takes me a second to, uh, I'm, I'm getting uh, working out some frustration there. All right, little box, big box. It closes, smack it, and boo, you can Open it for mini kid number one. Nice, nice, nice. All right, so we'll go ahead and we're going to act like we're going upstairs, but we don't quite make it there. We realize we need to use our compass again. So, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Here we go. Here's another mini kit. There are four jugs laying on their sides that have spouts on them. Destroy them from left to right in order to get the mini kit. Boom! See how easy that was? If you if you got it wrong, just wait a second. They will respawn the spouts, and you can smack them up. See, look at that. Running all the way up here, and... Where are we going? Where are we going? We're going to the strong guy. Nope. Psych. What is that guy doing? He needs to put some clothes on. Maybe eat a sandwich. All right, we're going to use the bomb, 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 bomb guy to drop down that box. And we'll use our strong guy of choice, which happens to be Blackbeard. Run inside. You can see that uh, flashing triangle button there is just going nuts. Can't really miss that mini kit. Some blue bottles in the corner. We don't really need to worry about them. Come on, come on. Keep it rolling now. Keep it going, keep it going. All right, go ahead and grab that black box. Go ahead and toss it in the spot. And now you're going to have to come over here and rebuild these holiday blocks. Put those all up in there with Blackbeard. You don't have to do it with Blackbeard. You can build it with any character. And then once they're all up there and built, you're going to have to smack them into place with a character with a hammer. There's quite a few guys that have them now. Got three or four of them. And once the both are knocked into place, you're going to have to push from the green side. Green for go, red for no. Push it all the way up, and then it'll actually grant us access to a staircase on the far right. But before going up there, we got to use these cannons to destroy these purple tentacles, or the, I don't remember what those are called, the little knobs, nubs, the nipples, purple nips. 
whatever they are. And there's one on the far right side as well. There we go, there we go. Look at that, 152 million already. Oh, to the yeah. Wouldn't that be nice? All right, so now that those are out of the way, we can actually head upstairs. Compass item number three is going to be right here in front of us. Go ahead and pull out your trusty compass. Shows us what we really want, which is that ship in the bottle. Watch out for the smack from above. And basically this leads us to the glowing glass wall over here, ice wall. And we will uh, use Philip or Serena. We use Serena to destroy it. And inside is a mini kit. Ooh, yeah. Four. Four mini kits. All right. Yeah, watch out for that. He's He means business. And you can fall down to the floor below over on the far left. You just I almost did it right there. So be careful. Not that it really means anything. You'll just have to run back over now switch to a, a small character. I, I suggest Marty. I go to the dog, but then once I get in here, I have to switch back. And then once you're in here, use a character to push that box all the way to the far right. You will need another character to spin that wheel out front, too, because we didn't lower it. So here we go. We're going to switch now and spin the wheel. What's up, earned a trophy? Shout out. Shout out to a friend on my friends list. See how them people be liking the shout outs. Yeah, and if you heard that, that's my kitty. That's my kitty cutie. And, yep, all right, so now we got those that box finally out, but then we pushed it back in. Come on, make up your mind. Is it out or in? Switch to a little guy and push it all the way out because it is not all the way out if you had this problem. Look at me. I'm getting frustrated, too. I'm running all over like, come on. So I come over here, and I blast this one. You can shoot this target. It'll drop the other box. So now I really mean business. See, like, look, I literally was like, all right, forget you then. But I still need that box. So I had to figure something out. So switch the character, like I said, that is small enough, which Marty, I believe, is the only one that is small enough to push that through. The dog may have been able to do it, but I doubt it. Once you get that fifth box in, you will be able to go up the stairs. I was totally sure that for some reason I was getting hosed that I needed to spin that wheel to make that go up, but it's not ready yet. I gotta build these blocks and spin this wheel over here. Again, you don't need Blackbeard to push or put those together. You can use anybody. And push it all the way up, which will give us access to the top floor. Let's go see what's going on up on the ship. Up on the poop deck. Let's go to the poop deck. If you don't know what a poop deck is, Google it. It's kind of ironic. Well, not really ironic, but it, you'll see what I mean. All right. So use the compass right away, and it'll take us to the fishy fishy. Seems to be a lot of fish and a lot of tridents just stashed around. It's a little repetitive at this point. you think they'd get a little bit more creative with, like, pirate booty and treasure and such. All right. So obviously there's a bunch of weapons right there, and we found it. Yay. All right. So the next compass item is the red box in the back, which happens to be a black beard box. Not a whole lot you can do with it, except for count it as a compass item. We didn't use our, you know, you can see it right there. We didn't use the compass to find it. We just destroyed it with black beard because we thought it was going to be something else. But we was wrong. And uh, we're going to follow these blue ghost prints all the way across. And it'll take us back to this red X, which marks the spot of number seven. And then at this point, now we got a couple flashing mini kits. Uh, let's see, which one do we want? We'll go ahead and pull these handles here with a strong character. We're going to use Bosun. And then it, well, eventually we'll crumble the wall and a mini kit will pop out. Thank you very much. We'll take that. Then we can use Jack to go up top. And look at that. Right there, you probably got this one in story mode. Maybe not. Whee! That's called the high dive. I don't know if, uh, I don't know if I'd try that again, though. And all right, so we're going to climb all the way to the top, and then we're going to look like a fool. Oh, no, we don't. We actually make this one. Slide all the way across and go all the way out to the first mast, the back left mast, and jump up on the, the hippie spot back there, double jump with the cheeky. And now there's one right below us, so we're going to go <laughs> out to the front side of the back mast and do a quadruple double back ouch onto the deck of the ship. And then drop down to the two bars and you grab that one. So look at that. We're just knocking them out left and right, left and right. All right, we got a little story time stuff going on right now. We got to uh, basically push these and lift these up, but we can't do so until we fix that. So we got to climb back up with Jack and then slide all the way across. And then once we're up there, we can switch to a character of choice who can 
smash the hot glowing bricks and fix those. Get all the way to the top, and then, oh, see, uh, that's what I was talking about earlier. I'm noobing it up now. I think I fall one more time, too, actually. I won't lie, but I don't think I fall all the way this time. Nope, see, yep, ow, oh, third time's a charm. Unless you count that, then it would be fourth time. Three and a half times a charm? 3.5? Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, all right, Mr. Brown, Mr. Brown, what's going down? Ching chong bong bing chong bong bong. Oh yeah, all built into place. Woohoo! Two hundred sixty-one million five hundred three dot com. No, it's actually five hundred three land dot com. All right, so we're gonna come all the way back, grab the torch, blast this whole group. Oh, but guess what? We didn't lift it yet. Do doy. We gotta lift it up. Come on, Blackbeard. You should know better. I'm gonna blame that on Blackbeard. It's all his fault. All right, lift it all the way up if you can. Once it's up, use the cannon. We were already trying, and booyaka shao. Once you do it, it'll take you to the final area of battle, which is the Kraken. Right off the bat, switch to your jack and pull out your compass, and you'll find some schmegma on the left side. And the schmegma, of course, is good for bootstrap. And you can switch on over and sink into the ship and come out up top on the very, very back part. And up here, we find ourselves a mini kit by lighting the dynamite. Dynamite! Took me a second. I threw the dynamite or the flame at it. We'll get it right one of these days. Booyakashow. All right. And we'll sneak on in there. We'll take that. Thank you. That's number nine. All right. And number ten. Where are you at? Where are you at? Oh, it's right here in the front. You probably got this in the story mode. All you need is Marty or somebody that throws bombs in order to blow this up. And hey, guess what? There's plenty of bombs while you fight the Kraken, too. So. Go ahead and grab that, and that's number 10. Oh, to the yeah. So that'll actually wrap up all the rest of the collectibles. We don't have any more to show you on this level. We got them all. And so if you haven't already, too, there is a trophy slash achievement for jumping into the Kraken while he inhales 10 times. It's called Hello, Beastie. We actually got it on the story mode walkthrough. Highly recommend that uh, you do it. It's pretty fun. It's just like the movie, kind of, sort of. Not really. It's one of, one of the most monumental moments for me when he says that too. Hello, beastie. And then he dives in sword first. That's pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, so if you're unfamiliar, you forgot how to beat this, basically you throw a couple bombs into him while he's inhaling. Then it'll take a few hearts off. Uh, eventually he'll get really upset with you and start slapping his big old tentacles down. And once he does that, you're going to want to take a bomb up to the top, or a flame, rather, and light the dynamite up top. And it'll blow up and take a few more hearts you got to rinse and repeat that a time or two, and eventually you're going to have to throw some more bombs at him, and that'll complete the battle. So, let's see here. Food's not going to cut it. Got to throw bombs. Oh, got to throw them before you jump. Got to crawl before you walk. Got to throw before you jump. You know what I'm saying? One of these days we'll get one in there. Nope, not that time. You'd think we were trying to get the trophy achievement right now, huh? All right, so... Feel free to take this time while I'm noobing it up to go ahead and, uh, you know, provide some feedback below for us, whether or not, uh, you know, like, you know, if I'm doing a good job, if I'm helpful, uh, if I am being a, a, a good service to you here, then feel free to subscribe and give us a like on the videos. Uh, tell your friends about us, too. If you're ever looking for Happy Thumbs Gaming videos, it's always recommended you add an HTG at the end of your searches. It'll help weed out through a lot of the other videos. Uh, you know, some guys, it seems like everybody's got a recorder these days, but uh, we've been at it for a little bit, and we kind of know what you like, and uh, we try to adhere to that standard all the time. So if you're looking for our videos, add the HTG at top. But uh, after a quick proof of all the bricks and all the compass items, and, uh, well, not all the bricks, all of the mini kits and all the compass items, we'll, uh, yeah, we'll sign out. That'll go ahead and wrap up level 10, Lego Pirates of the Caribbean. The Kraken Free Play. Head on over to Facebook, Twitter, comment, vote, subscribe down below. If you like what we're doing, give us a give us a nice thumbs up. If you don't, give us a thumbs down and tell us in the comments why you gave us a thumbs down. Head on over to HappyThumbsGaming.com as well. We got all sorts of stuff over there: gaming reviews, product reviews. We got all sorts of stuff coming. We're trying to expand our informational hub for you guys. So give us some feedback. Tell us what you'd like to see over there. As always, until next time. Oh, yeah.